welcome back to Vlogmas Day 4. We're gonna take you in a day in our life around Berlin and also around this medieval Christmas market. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a snowy day. First official snow of the season for us. At least it's not on the ground. It's I'll not. Take it. It's not that cold. No. So today, going to the gym. We're gonna figure out this laundromat situation here in <laughs> Berlin. A little cool. like our Airbnb didn't come with a in washer or dryer or anything so we have to go to a laundromat this is a first for us in our travels yes so usually this is like a must have when we're staying at places but i was running into issues with trying to find like a good place in berlin for a month on airbnb it seems that monthly stays aren't that very common here so i did have to kind of switch things around a little bit for it to still be like within our budget there were places that were available with a washer but then they were like twenty five hundred dollars or like three thousand dollars a month and we were like nope yeah that's a little bit too much so we'll be going to the laundromat for the next couple the of weeks gym. uh we also found this really cool gym uh it's called bunker i'm really excited to show you it bunker berlin bunker berlin uh but yeah let's let's hurry up started. and get there and we'll take you along it's only about a 15 minute walk from our house yeah that's not bad yeah. It's not too bad. Save probably less than that. That's yeah. close. Down this long hallway. So this can be a confusing entrance, but thanks to Google reviews, we didn't get too long. Huge confusing entrance. So there's two ways to go in. You go to Don't the go left. that way. You want to go to the left. Mm -hmm. And then this little greenhouse entrance looking thing how you get in. This is so cool. It's like a little bunker. <laughs> Look at these stairs. Yeah, we're here. Okay, workout completed. All done. Feeling good. Out of the bunker. Back above ground. <laughs> yeah, I will say, when Anna showed me this place online, <laughs> I had some doubts. Uh, it looked like your uncle's garage or basement where he's like, come work out with me. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a typical, like, grungy, like, meathead gym. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so. it, it does what it's supposed to, so yeah. I'm not displeased about it. Actually. I don't mind it, because yeah. is it the cleanest gym? No. But like the thing that I appreciate about this type of gym is that like everyone's just worried about themselves. Like nobody's staring at you, nobody's looking at you, nobody wants to talk to you. Really it's nobody great. bothers you, so it's like <laughs> super easy. Okay, so now that the gym is done, we are on our way to the laundromat. So we need to figure out how this works. We're gonna scope it out first. Alrighty, there it is. The wash box. Let's check this out. This is Anna's first time in a laundromat. She's never used one before. It's just a lounge for it's a skin chill. So they got washers, and dryers, and jumbo boxes. Oh my. Oh, babe. What? The instructions are right on the wall. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, easy peasy. Let's go to the mall and we'll get our detergent. And are you hungry? You can get food. I'm hungry. We can get food. Let's go. go eat somewhere? Yeah. So our place is like a five minute walk away from the East Side Mall. Mm -hmm. It's like this big mall by the East Side Gallery. So we're going to go there, grab a few things. That's where we're going to grab some food. I know, we're total mall rats. I feel like that's like our old people thing that we do. That is, is definitely that... the old people thing that we do. Well, I feel like now, especially that it's cold, it's like you just want to escape somewhere that's inside. So. We're just bringing back mall culture, y'all, okay? Okay, so the food court's on the third, second, third level. So we need to go up. This is how I know my wife is hungry because while I'm recording all this like B-roll and stuff about the mall and everything, she's like 100 feet ahead of me. Hey, thanks for waiting. Oh, bless you. Bless you. 
Shall we eat some food now? Yes, please. Okay, we got our food. We stopped at Vincent Vegan, so we both got vegan food. So I got vegan chicken nuggets with some garlic sauce. We're sharing some fries. So I've had about two chicken nuggets so far. And Nick is like one bite away from finishing his burger. Does anybody else's husband or boyfriend do this where they just like inhale their food in three bites? I don't know how you do it, but hungry man. Is that, is that the last bite? <laughs> Okay, now that we've finished our food, we need to find a lock for the gym. Yeah. So let's try to find that. <laughs> so we're going home now because we couldn't find a lock. We'll see if we can find another one somewhere else tomorrow. But we're gonna go home, shower, change, and then we're gonna head to a Christmas market before work. We showered and we relaxed a little bit after we ate. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to this medieval Christmas market thing. Yeah, it's possibly like different and not like other Christmas markets. We'll see how it is. I think we're heading the right direction. It's a bit chilly, in it? I would say so. It's quite a bit colder than it was this morning. I think we gotta turn right here. Follow the signs. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So this looks a little different from our normal Christmas markets. See, come yeah. Mondays or Tuesdays, there's free entry, so. Oh, free entry today. Let's get it. <laughs> that looks cute. This is like a more medieval, rustic Christmas-themed market. Oh, it's fun. Like, even the games are like, it's like very like Renaissance fair kind of. Should we take a ride in ye oldie? Um, I think we're too heavy and we'd break it. I think we could fit in there, that'd be fine. Baby, we, we would topple that thing over. You wanna ride the horse? It's five euros. Are you, dude, are you serious? <laughs> Nick hates horses, <laughs> are you scared of them? I, I don't hate horses, I just... You're scared of them. Here, let me show them your face. Would you like to ride the horse? Absolutely not. Why not? Look at this thing. Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, he's so cute. Looks like me with my beanie on with my little blonde hair sticking out. Why are you so, you are so <laughs> far Because they them. freak me out, dude. Why do they freak you out? Because they're big, they're giant. So we've got some pretzels here. Oh, I'm coming back for these, boys. Even like check out the ovens. Oh my God, they put them in this realistic oven yeah. thing. It's smoking as it is, let's go. Let's Brewskis. Today we came super early, so we're here like right, right when it opens. Open. And it's a Tuesday. And it is a Tuesday, so. I'm sure at I'm night sure. it gets crazy busy here too because over there they also do like um, like fire throw or shows and stuff, but they'll be happening while we're working, unfortunately. So it's definitely a little bit more authentic. I guess back in medieval times you still had to pay to use the toilet. Oh no. Did you ever do that at like a carnival when the you were like game? a kid? Yeah, with no. like the hooks. It reminds me of like that like with the fish game. You know what I'm oh, talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I don't remember what it's called. It's not hungry hungry hippos, but like you have a fish hook and they like come up and down. That's yeah. what that reminds me of too. Oh, with the little kids in that like swing thing now. Swing over there. That's pretty cute. I think we could fit in that. Baby, absolutely not. <laughs> the thing about these markets is I like a good medieval market and I like a good Christmas market, but I don't speak German and I don't read German. So I don't know what any of this stuff is. So if you want to translate some of this stuff, like that'd be great. But the only words I know are language and glue wine. So I'm pretty much at a loss for this one. <laughs> are you a little hungry? Yes, I'm a little hungry. Would you eat chili with me? Oh yeah, let's get some. Yeah. Which one are you thinking? I think there's only one. Oh, you're right. Chili con carne, there it is. Okay, cool. Let's go find the table Let's you go. want to go over here, sit by the fire. Yeah, just got ourselves a nice little fire here. 
This is about as winter as it gets. It's kind of cute too, because like this morning, it's the first snowfall here in Berlin. So it's nice to like at least see the Christmas market in the actual like Christmassy spirit. Is it good? Oh, that's good. Yeah, here, try some. Who doesn't love a good bowl of Christmas chili? God bless us, everyone. No, it's, it's really good though, for real. So I think we should get salmon because I've never seen that before at a Christmas market. Okay. And they're like cooking it over an open flame. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to make you flex your German skills. No, so I'm, I'm making you order. You're making me order. Yeah. You're going to have to order. Right. Okay, so this is way fancier than I thought it was going to be, and I'm super excited. What did we end up getting on here, babe? It was uh, the Anbratkartoffel mit Rosmarin. Um, I sort of stumbled my way through that interaction, so, but we got this. It so. was salad, roasted potatoes with rosemary, and then there's salmon on there with honey mustard sauce, and then you put these like caramelized onions, and I'm super excited to eat this. Man down. Oh no, man's good. You should eat this while it's hot. Okay, first bites. I'm trying to get like a perfect bite with a little bit of everything. Wow, it's good. I like this. Like, who would get salmon at the Christmas market? We did. Oh, it's cool. Did you see it? From here to here to there. <laughs> this is so good. I literally would have never expected to have salmon at a Christmas market. Like, I feel like every single one of these that we go to, we find something unique and cool um, that we wouldn't find at a typical Christmas market. We're in a medieval Christmas market in Berlin right now, <laughs> 10 minutes from where we live. This is so cool. I'm having so much fun. Okay, so, are you ready for something dangerous now? Yeah, I already know what you want to do. What do you think I want to do? <laughs> you think you want to do the archery? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> let's go. Well, let's see how this goes. You know, this reminds me of when we were in Utah and you wanted to do the trampolines. <laughs> and you were the only adult doing it. Oh yeah, they've, they've got big bows. We're fine. We're fine. Do they? Yeah. Mike. Am I allowed to do this? Yeah, seven euro, five euro. Okay, cool. And you can. I just want to make sure it was for adults and children. <laughs> no, no, no. Just for big for children. And... Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, first time? Yeah. You shoot with the right hand? Or yeah, the left? yeah. Okay, over here the left. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. They're up. Long up. More power, 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 power. And... Ooh, okay. That was crazy. How you feel? That was good. Good. Ooh, that was a bullseye. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> you look like you're having so much fun. This is well worth the five euros. Tell the audience, stop thinking that things are for children and just do them. Have a good event. Not bad, not bad. Thanks for the play. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, fun? Yeah, that was great. Let's do that again. <laughs> Well, cheers. Or no, what do you say here? Prost. Prost. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's hot. That's hot. That's hot. But we got some of the, the alcohol-free fruit punch because we got to start working a little bit. But this is pretty good. So same thing here is like the other Christmas markets that we've gone to. You get the ceramic mugs. We paid, I think it was a three euro deposit for each cup. Yeah. Once we're done, we can bring it back and then we get back our cup deposit. These are cute. If we were staying here, or if we like had a central home base, I would keep these for these, sure. These ones are cute too, because cool. I feel like they're like a little different shape. Yeah. yeah, I really like this market. It's a little bit more low key than what we've been going to, but I think that the snow really makes it. Last night was the first snowfall in Berlin. It's very cold, however, it's very authentic. Makes it feel like Christmas. Makes it feel like Christmas quite a bit. Last year for Christmas, we were in Cape Town, so we had a warm Christmas and now it's back back into the cold and at least it feels like Christmas this year. Yeah. 
There's a few more people here now. Uh, oh my God. Uh, I'm keeping that in. No, don't. Yes, we're keeping no, that in. Like version Jesus of microphone. Christ, I am married to a real Start lady. Start over. Start it oh. over. That's all we have today for Vlogmas Day 4. Nick and I have to go do some work now, unfortunately. But thank you guys so much for tagging along with us today in a day in a life in Berlin and checking out this medieval Christmas market with us as well. We appreciate you so much. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time for the fifth day of Vlogmas. Bye-bye.